Hey guys, it's Apex Velocity, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create my glow effect that I do in a lot of my videos. Alright guys, so the effect we're going to be learning today looks something like this. So it's that kind of glow transition, but it also has a lot of distortion and blur, which I'm going to show you guys how to do today. And the um, software that I'm using is HitFilm 4 Express, as you can see right here. And so the first thing we're going to need to do is create a composite shot. So what you're going to do is right click and hit make composite shot, which would be right here, but I've already done it. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is the first clip we're going to be using. So as you can see, it's just a normal clip as you can see and so what we're gonna be doing to it is we're actually gonna be adding some effects which is gonna give it that transition so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our effects and we're going to look up action cam lens distort which is right here and we're gonna go under settings and as you can see if we up the field of view it goes like that and we really don't want that we want it to go the other way so what we're gonna hit is reverse and then do this but as you can see, um, it kind of distorts the entire image and leaves a lot of black spots in the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to zero. And what we're going to do is change the scale anchor to height. And so now what that does is this kind of effect, which is what we want. So we're going to change that back to zero. And we're going to go to where we want the effect to start. So since this is the end of the video, we can go to about four seconds right there and we're gonna make a dot or a keyframe at the point where we want the effect to start which is at four seconds and then we want to go to the end of the video and we want to make the FOV as high as possible which is 179 so as you can see what we have right now is this so it already has that kind of effect that we want but what we want to do is we want to make it so that it kind of blends into it. So what we're going to do is select these two keyframes, this one and this one, and you, you want to hit value graph. So you want to select these two, value graph, and change it to this circle icon instead of what we had before, which are these diamonds. So what that does is it creates kind of a flow instead of just a static one effect to the next. So we're going to make it flow and then we're going to make it so that it starts slow, but the effect gets faster. So it looks a little like this. One second. Like that. And so what we're going to do is we can actually change it both ways, whichever you guys want. So it can be like this also. So this means it goes up and then slowly reaches the final effect or we can make it start slow and reach the final effect very quickly at the end so it doesn't really show the effect unless we move the keyframes a bit so that the end effect is visual is it visible sorry about that so it looks like that so so that it looks a bit more controlled we can adjust it as you guys want so it looks like that. And the next part of this tutorial is we're gonna add the glow, which gives it that kind of, well, glow. And so we start here and again, we start where the original keyframe was for the action cam lens distort. And we add a keyframe for zero intensity at the glow. And then we go to where the animation ends, which is right here and we set the intensity to whatever we want. So let's actually turn off the action cam lens distort just to see, and we can do that by clicking the check mark. So now that effect is not there, and we can turn up the intensity to whichever we'd like. So we can do about that much, and radius is basically how intense it is in one spot. So if we lower the radius, obviously it's very sharp, and this is kind of a more blurred, glowing effect and the threshold basically shows what part of the image is going to be glowing so if we have a very low threshold 
then almost all of the image will be glowing. But if we have a high threshold, only the bright parts of the image will be glowing. So we want to set that about the middle, well, a little lower than the middle, so about 35. And we want to set the radius to be a bit higher and the intensity to be a bit like that. So now, if we look at it without the action cam lens distort, it's like that. So the effect slowly becomes more glowing. And you can also do the same thing we did to this, to the action cam lens distort, um, by changing the keyframes and making it more smooth. And so now if we turn on the action cam lens distort, distort it will look like this. So as you can see, it has that nice glowing effect that we want. And you guys can adjust the glow as you want as well. I would lower the radius, um, lower the threshold just a bit. So the whole image is glowing. And go to the end, double click on the last keyframe. And you can upgrade the intensity as well. The intensity is the only thing we have a keyframe on because that's what turns the glow on and off. So if we turn the intensity up, it'll turn the glow up as well. So now we have this effect. So we want to um, make it flow like the action cam lens at store. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the keyframe manager or value graph. And we're going to set it about as what we had on the last effect. So now it looks like this. Which is exactly what we want. Now the last part of this effect is actually the blur. So we're going to go into zoom blur, which is right here, and we're going to drag it onto the effects as well. So now as you can see, if we turn up zoom blur, it changes how the image looks. So we're going to start at zero once again, go to where the animation begins and set a keyframe. And then we want to go to where the animation ends and set another keyframe like so. So now it looks a little like this. Obviously that's a bit too much, so we can lower it to like this much, I guess. So that's that. And then we can select both keyframes once again and change it to the same effect as the action cam lens is short, which was about right there. And so now we have this whole animation that flows. So if we start it, it looks like that. So that's how we get the first part. So now we want to go to the second part and edit that as well. So this is the second clip we have. So right now, if we go into our editor, what we have is one shot and it glows into the next. But we actually want it to glow down to the second video so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the second clip which is right here and we're basically to make the process way easier you can create a preset so what you're going to do is you're going to select these three effects right click and hit create preset and you can cha um, choose what the preset name is this is going to be glow tutorial that's what i'm going to call it And then you can go into the second clip and go to glow tutorial here and drag it onto that. So now we have the same effect, but the problem is it's at the end. So the effect goes, but it happens at the end. So what we want to do is we want to drag all these keyframes to here, because if you think about it, you want the effect to start at the beginning of this clip since it ended at the last clip. So now we're here and we have this, but that's still not what we want because we want it to go from here to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each one. So we're going to take the first keyframes and bring them behind the previous keyframes. And then we're going to take all our keyframes and move it to the beginning. So now it starts with the glow, but it goes into that. So that's basically how we do this tutorial guys. Those are the fundamentals. You can tweak it as much as you want. So it starts from this and then as it progresses, it goes into that. So it starts like this for this clip 
and it starts as normal for the first clip but goes into the effect into the second clip so that's basically how you do this effect guys i hope you guys learned something from this and you guys can use it in your videos so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one